In this video, we'll be looking at how to create a Taproot wallet that will allow you to transact in Bitcoin ordinals. So first, let's first understand what a Taproot is. Bitcoin Taproot is an upgrade of the Bitcoin blockchain that was approved and implemented by developers in 2021. If you have been in Bitcoin for a while, you do remember this period when Bitcoin was going through an upgrade and miners were activating Taproot one by one until much majority of the chain became Taproot enabled, which also presented more security and privacy to Bitcoin. So the wallets that you want to use, they should definitely have Taproot on them. So there are three main wallets that are popular in the Ordino space. Number one is Unisat wallet. And this is more popular because Unisat has the largest marketplace for, it was basically the first to create an efficient marketplace for Ordinos. And then there is Leather, which is, was previously known as, I forgot what the name is, but if you go to leather.io, this is their website. Yeah, it used to be called Hyro Wallet. Now you can see on the website, it says Hyro is now called Leather. And another one is Xverse, which is my favorite because it just has perfect user interface on mobile and desktop alike. But the most functional one is Unisat. So in this video, I will show you guys how to create Unisat because you will be using a lot of Unisat, especially when you're minting. Things like Sats and Audi were being minted actually for free on this website. Um, I mean, not Audi because I think Unisat wasn't alive by then, but Sats, we minted Sats on this website for free. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to mint, but for now, let's create a wallet. So you go to unisat.io wallet, download for Chrome, so it has to be added to your Chrome browser. Okay, I'll add it to my Chrome, add extension, and I will now go, it's, if you don't see it here, it might be hidden by this little icon. And I'll go to Unisat. It also works on mobile. Create wallet, create password. There we go. And now it's giving me my recovery phrase. Now, because I'm demonstrating and teaching you guys how to do this, I'm okay with you seeing this um, this recovery phrase because I'm not going to use this wallet. But if you're creating your wallet, you want to keep these words safe because these are the back door to your wallet. So if somebody gets hold of these words of your wallet, they will be able to drain your wallet, take all your, your money out of it. So please keep this safe. I can only show it like this because it's for educational purposes. So you can copy them, store them somewhere. Most important, importantly, write them down on a piece of paper and keep it somewhere safe. I'll click, I have saved my recovery uh, phrase and I will go ahead. It's showing me different kind of wallets here. Uh, there's native SegWit, nested SegWit, Taproot. So what's happening here is that within, that, within one wallet, you will have multiple types of wallet. One is a native SegWit, which is where mostly your Bitcoin is going to be stored. And you've got a Taproot wallet, which is where most of your ordinals are going to be stored. So whenever, oh, I'll show you when we get inside anyway. Let's just go ahead and create the wallet. And we're now inside our Unisat wallet. This is what we use to send, receive ordinals. First, you want to fund it. So if you want to put money into it, you just click on receive. You can scan this QR code. Let's say you're withdrawing the Bitcoin from your Coinbase or Binance account or whatever wallet, trust wallet where you have Bitcoin. You can simply scan this or click on here to simply just copy this address and send funds into your wallet and then you're ready to go. Now, if you want to receive uh, ordinals and stuff like that, the, those ones are more likely to be onto the BRC20 side here. You'll be able to see, if you have ordinals in your wallets, you'll be able to see them here. All right. So that's basically it when it comes to creating a wallet. And you can also create multiple wallets, by the way. This is account one. I can create account two, let's say for 
This is for airdrops or mints. I can call this one mint, right? And create another one for something specific and also fund it. So you're not only limited to one wallet alone. That's basically how it works. You have now created your Unisat wallet. You're ready to roll with Bitcoin Ordinals. If you appreciate it, please let me know if you have any questions. Do not hesitate to jump into our Crypto University Discord and ask. And if you're not part of the alpha group where we discuss these things, we can help you. We're, it's a community of hardcore traders, investors in crypto. We always find this, these kind of things early. That's where we were discussing Ordinals before they became famous because this is what we pay attention to. I recommend you join in. The, the, uh, the description below should have the link to the Crypto University website, but also the Alpha Group. So you go to Crypto University. If you're watching this from, from the Crypto University website already, then uh, it's easier for you to access it, but it's CryptoUniversity.network. Crypto University. Network, this is the right website. Strange that I can't see the Crypto University website. Okay, let me just type it in, CryptoUniversity.network. Network, man, what's going on with me? Here we go. This is the real deal. So when, once you're here, you click on Alpha Group, membership, and you join the membership, you will be in our private group where we do crypto full time and you will never miss out on anything. All right, thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next section.